A Sun Coast teen is on a mission to help end childhood cancer with the third annual Candy Circus run happening this Saturday at Nathan Benderson Park. SNN's Nadine Young has a preview. Things have changed from the last time I saw Candace Powell. Her hair is straighter, she's more independent. And I'm actually in an acapella group and I do kickboxing. And she's entering her sophomore year at the University of Florida. But her passion for giving back and helping others remains the same. Day in and day out, every event, it's always been, I did it, it helped other people more so than even helped me and that's what it means. Powell is gearing up for the third annual Candy Circus Run, which raises money for pediatric cancer research, a cause near and dear to her heart, as she is a cancer survivor. When I was three months old, I was diagnosed with a rare cancer called Langerhans cell histocytosis. Undergoing several rounds of chemotherapy, Powell entered remission at age three. So kind of growing up, didn't know much about like my story and how it could impact people. Working with Cure Surge four years ago to bring awareness about cancer research, Candy Circus Run raised $10,000 last year, and Powell is excited for Saturday's run. I'm ready to just show people how much it's grown from year one to year three and how much support I've had over the years, despite everybody's busy schedules. Juggling a summer job, summer college classes, and organizing a major event, Powell says it's worth it because she knows she's making a positive difference and bringing people together. Doing something that's benefiting the community, I'm doing something that's bigger than myself, and I always like, I always like when I get to like the end of my life or like every few decades or so, I always be able to look, look back and be like, is what I do with my life bigger than just surrounding me? Is it impacting other people? Like I wanna make sure what I'm doing is worth it. Reporting in Sarasota, Nadine Young, SNN at the Sun Coast News Network. Thanks, Nadine. And that event takes place Saturday morning. Again, that's at Nathan Benderson Park.